time that you glance that, but they can't remember. <laughs> what? Uh, it's just like, you don't know what my group is. Why are you listening to every group I've ever joined? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Facebook. <clears throat> Uh, Daryl got the outside office. He got the outside office. He lives out there, man. Got the whole setup. It's Daryl, Daryl Harris out there. <clears throat> so we're welcome. He's a solar man. He's a solar Hello. man. Hello, Hello Daryl. Oh, glad you can join us today. So Daryl is the president of Earth, Wind, and Solar. He's been doing uh, sales for ever. How long? 23 years. I can't hear you. 23 years. 33? 23 sales marketing. 23. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. We're going to have to get that mic either closer because it's kind of crackly too. Still crackly? I'll just turn it off. Let me get my headphones. Yeah, or, yeah that's, that'll work better, I think. Because <laughs> um, it was coming in and out. So I want to. I want us to be able to hear you. I'm sure. I don't know if you can see me. So. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see how he wants to play this. He likes to ask questions. So I think he's going to want us um, front and center. But if not, then we'll just center ties him because that's a word um <laughs> How's this? Oh, that's better how's that yeah that's better can you hear me i can i can Fabulous. so it's all funny right. i made the time today to make sure that i listen to all of the presenters um before and <clears throat> Everything lines up essentially to what we do, what I want to talk about and those things. It's not much different from, from nice. last year, but it's, uh, it's definitely developed because, you know, we're a year older and, you know, the things that I said last year, if it wasn't food or fertilizer, it was seed. And hopefully we can put some sunlight on it today. Beautiful. Thank you, Daryl. Do you have something you want to present to us first, or do you want to? Are you going to be asking us questions? No, I think what I gathered from, like I said, listening to the presenters today, that my overall resonating feeling comes through from the place of it's almost like the Bible says until you remove the plank out of your own eye, you can't help someone with the speck in their own, you know? And that, you know, and all of this, you know, healing and all of that stuff, you know, what is the purpose for that? You know, wh wh why are you, why do you want to heal? Is kind of the question that I was kind of left with, with people who are in this process it becomes the question, oh, what are we doing? Life was not that bad. But in, the, in, in terms of marketing and sales, a gentleman I worked with for a year or so wrote a book called Closers Get Paid. And the first chapter, he has this quote that says, you'll never earn, you'll never out earn your own self-image. It's perfect. So most people, especially introverts, the problem that I see with introverts and in sales is that they can't get out of their own mind. They can't get out of their own head. They're already thinking for the person before the, they ask the question. And then they never ask the question. So I think most of the time when I deal with people who are introverts, who actually become the best people in sales because they're better listeners than extroverts um the one thing you really have to do is not let them think for the customer and i think a lot of folks who are interested in selling their gifts in an open market type setting the biggest problem that they face is the fact that 
they can't get out of their own heads. So yeah, we, they know that. How do I fix that? And the way you fix it is the things that we're doing in the summit is there's this self-healing, this, this process that you have to go through to sort of figure out what it was that sort of created the way you think and triggers you to believe that sales isn't something that everyone is, should do. I mean, it's actually the oldest profession is sales somebody selling trading something so um i'll open it up to questions um if you want to know about techniques and things like that that's you know those are good questions too however those things aren't they have to be based on the way you want to conduct your business most introverts don't want their sales business to look like a sales business <laughs> you know so if you have some questions about how that can, how you can make that look different, then we can talk about that too. Yeah, I'm sure we have a ton of questions. You probably don't know where to start. I think it would be great if you could start with a four steps to a conversation and that way we can start looking and stop looking at sales as a bad word so much. Like, I feel like that's like the biggest, that's the first kind of barrier is, um, that the conversation forcing somebody you know to, to do to listen to us essentially instead of um what how i think of it is inviting people to a conversation mm. so i would say it from this perspective if you're actually marketing and selling something or want to sell something or you want to sell your services and you want people to benefit from what this enlightenment that you have about what's out there. And that's, you know, what the summit is about is using your voice to express your vision and you want to monetize that, right? So how do you do that without sounding like a salesman? Well, the first thing is the thought that doing that makes you a salesperson. That's like the first thing that I think most people have to come to grips with is that not even the greatest salespeople are salespeople. They're just the people you want in the transaction that you're in. So for instance, if you are going to start shopping for an electric car, everyone knows the first car you're going to look at is Tesla, right? Because number one, it's, it's the best marketed electric car. It's the one that got it all started in this country. And so most people are going to say, well, that innovator is an introvert. How is he, you know, like this rock star of a person, but he's so introverted, especially when you hear him talk. And I think what most people miss with Elon Musk is that he's not selling. <laughs> You're just buying his dream. You're, he's not selling you a dream. You're buying his dream. So most introverts don't understand that just talking about what you do with the passion that, that you feel for it sells your dream. You don't actively have to sell it. Elon Musk didn't actively start selling Teslas. He said, I'm gonna make an electric car. I'm gonna change the industry. He didn't say, come buy my car. <laughs> but everybody's buying that car. So the difference is, is that especially with an introvert, if you are talking, it's about something that you're passionate about or something that you have a lot of information and knowledge about. That's the first thing that I recognize with introverts. Yeah, they're not going to speak if they don't know anything about it. So the fact that you have this gift that you've been with your whole life and you're starting to have a passion about what you can do with it, that's the conversation. That the conversation isn't, it costs this much you're going to gain this, you're going to gain that. People buy the passion. They, they, they don't necessarily buy the product. So 